you're not going to be sending the passport directly to like any Canadian embassy or immigration center. You're going to be sending it to a... Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane and this is my channel where I share content about how to study abroad, how to get scholarship to study in different countries, how to travel abroad. And I also share my lifestyle as an engineering PhD student in the US. So in my most recent video, I discussed about how to apply for Canadian visitors visa. I will attach the video up here in case you want to watch it. And in the video, I said if you want me to discuss how to send passport for Canadian visa stamping, you should let me know. And some of you did leave comments asking me, actually, a lot of you <laughs> left comments asking me to make this video. So that's why I'm making this video. So I'm going to be talking about how to send the passport, the documents that are required, the fee, everything that you need to do to successfully send your passport for your visa to be stamped. I see that a lot of you subscribe to the channel. You're welcome to the unique community. I do my best to give you guys helpful information that will help you in different phases of life whether it's for study is for travel i do my best to give you info so you're welcome to the community stick around for more videos coming so let's get right into today's video for canada visa when the visa is approved they will send you an email letting you know that they want your passport to be sent to them now you're not going to be sending the passport directly to like any canadian embassy or immigration center you're going to be sending it to a, an organization called vfs so vfs is the company that is in charge of collecting the passport for stamping so you will send the passport to them when it's stamped they will send it back to you so the vfs location differs depending on the country you're applying from for instance if you're applying from nigeria if they have office in abuja they have office in lagos if you're in the u.s and you're applying they have office in um, new york they have office in los angeles if you are from ghana they have office in accra so once you get the email you follow the link you'll be able to see the, the offices that are closest to where you are so when you want to send the passport you need to pay for courier service that is for shipping the passport to them when you're paying for the courier service make sure you pay for a two-way courier service what this means is that the, you'll be paying for your passport to be shipped to the vfs office and also for them to send it back to you so that once they finish um stamping the visa they will send it right back to you so make sure when you're paying for the career service that you're paying for two-way career service so i'm going to attach the vfs link on the description of this video so make sure to check it out so aside from paying the normal um, shipping fee if where you did your biometrics is different from the center where you'll be sending your passport the vfs office would want you to pay what is called a transmission fee so for instance for me where i did my biometrics was um in a, a different city from where i'll be sending the passport so i had to pay an extra fee which is um transmission fee and to pay this fee i had to buy money order and then um, attach the money order to my passport when I was sending it. Now I'm going to be listing the documents that you need to attach to your passport when you're sending. So because they ask you to send your passport does not mean you carry only passport and just send to them. There are other documents that are required. This is what I'm going to be listing. So the first document that you need is your passport, obviously. So remember what I said in the other video. If you have not watched it, I'm still going to attach it here. Go and watch it. I told you guys in that video that Canada Visa, they will give you according to the duration of your passport. Um, that's for visitor's visa, which was what I talked about in that video. So if you have six months left in your passport, they'll give you six months visa. If you have 10 years passport, they'll give you 10 years visa. So it all depends on what you have. So put all these things in consideration when you're applying. The next document that you need is a printout of the letter that you receive from the immigration office requesting your passport. So like I said in the beginning, when your visa is approved, they're going to send you a letter, which I think is called um, passport request letter. So make sure you print out that letter and attach it. The next document is any other document that is required. So your situation might be different from my situation. So they might ask you to send additional documents if they want. If they don't want, they will not ask for it. So if they additional documents that were required please make sure you have those documents printed out and attached 
there's another document that you will need which is called the tt service consent form it's just a document that you will see when you go to the website to send passport you will see it it's just for you to give them consent to handle your passport and things like that so make sure you print it out sign where you're supposed to sign and attach it the next document that you need is a plain sheet of paper where you're going to write your shipping information so in that piece of paper you write your name your full name you write your mailing address you write your email address if you want to write your phone number it's just your shipping details in as much as you're already buying a two-way courier um, service they still want you to have that piece of paper to have your mailing information on the paper so please make sure you write it where in a way they will see it your name your mailing address i'm not saying email mailing address that is your house address or whichever address you want them to send the passport to when they are done stamping it the next one is proof of payment of fees so, so when you paid for the vfs service or the transmission fee that i talked about you want to make sure you have a receipt you have a proof of the payment i'll attach it to show them that see i've made payments the next one is the shipping label of course when you um when you go to ship it when you do all the payment they'll send, tell you where to ship it it's usually fedex it might be different in your country but when i did mine was fedex you just go to fedex office you you print out the label that they will send to you go to fedex office put everything together in a nice envelope well arranged and then send it to them so now when you send the document to them of course fedex or any other service that you use they're going to give you a, a tracking number that will help you to track when the um your documents will get to the vfs office so when you get to vfs office it will take them two three four days it all depends for them to stamp the visa and then send it back to you so from when you sent the documents to them to when they will receive it to when they will stamp it and send it to you it, it varies it depends on where you're applying from the country you're applying from and the situation of thing at that time but when i did my two i think less than seven days was like six seven days so it can actually take two weeks it can take three weeks it can take a month it all depends but at least you have a tracking number that you'll be able to track and know the location of your passport and know when it's been sent so like i said make sure you attach all these documents and if there is any additional document that was required please make sure to attach them so make sure you just put everything arrange them very well and send one or two of you asked if it would be possible for me to do a video showing step by step of how to apply for canadian visitors visa i want to know if you guys want me to do that as usual if you want me to do that let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a step-by-step -step video on how to apply for canadian visitors visa where i will show my computer screen and be showing it on the website as i'm typing as i'm applying for it let me know if you guys want me to do it. i can just create an account and act like i'm applying for someone but i'm not going to submit it so let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to do that as usual if i get up to 200 of you requesting for it then i'll do the video secondly i saw some people trying to appreciate me for the last video that i made if at any point you're watching any of my video and you feel like oh she's giving really nice information i want to appreciate her there's a button down here i will show you it's called the, the thanks button you can just click on that button and donate any amount you want it's just a way of appreciating me it's just a way of saying thank you so you can just give any amount that you want no amount is too small thank you so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you found it helpful let me know in the comment section what you think let me know if you have questions in the comment section i like to respond to questions in my comment section so if you have any question if you have any comment any remark please put in the comment section make sure to like this video if you've not subscribed click the subscribe button to subscribe and please share this video and i'll see you in my next video bye